guys, this week I'm starting a new Barbie dress, which is probably one of the most requested Barbie dresses in my comments ever, which is the Barbie Island Princess Rosella ball gown that has the peacock feather thing in the back and it's blue and pink. I get asked all the time to make it because apparently that Barbie movie is one of people's favorite Barbie movies, which I am going to be honest that I have never seen Barbie Island Princess. Don't come for me. I plan on watching it as I make this, but that can't stop me from making her dress. So this week I'm actually switching things up. Normally when I make a Barbie dress or any dress for that matter, I do the dress first and then I tackle the accessories, whether it's shoes or I don't know what. And in this case, the accessory is the fan back piece. So this week I'm actually going to do the fan, oops, the fan back piece first and then the dress second. And so in this video, obviously, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be making that fan and I have all of my supplies ready to go. And I'm really, really excited, although a little nervous because I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do this, but let me show you the materials. Obviously, the first thing I need is a lot of feathers. So I started off only buying a pack of 24 pink ostrich feathers that were 10 to 12 inches. I got these in the mail and they were not very big. This one is quite big. They were a bit smaller than I anticipated so stacking them on each other like I wanted to do to make a fan go around it was very sparse so then I ended up buying a second pack of it so I had two packs of these pink ostrich feathers in 10 to 12 inches and I measured them and most of them are barely 10 inches if that so now I have 48 of these smaller ostrich feathers. And then for good measure, I ended up buying a third pack, but this time I think this is a 12 pack of 12 to 14 inch feathers. And these ones are a bit more fuller. So in total, I have 60 feathers. Some are bigger, some are smaller, and hopefully I can just like layer them on top of each other to make this fan. So I have those feathers. And then obviously uh, I have the peacock feathers. I don't know how well these are gonna show up on camera, but they are beautiful. Like they have this shine to them. I have 24 of these ones. Then to bling things up, obviously I had to get rhinestones. These are my favorite brand of rhinestones that I have linked below. I get them on Amazon and they come in a lot of different sizes and colors. So for this, I bought the turquoise ones in size SS. 16 and I bought fuchsia ones in size SS10. So I will add those on to the finished fan. And then for the base of the fan, I really didn't know what I was gonna do. So I did some brainstorming. I think I'm just gonna make them out of popsicle sticks. So I've already started on it because I forgot to film. And I'm basically gluing three popsicle sticks together. And then I'll glue those on in a fan, like, you know, one after the other. So I have a few of these done, you get it. And so then the feather, well, we'll get to how it's built. Originally, I thought that I could make it a fan so it opens and closes, but I don't really think that's gonna work anyway. So it's just gonna be a stationary thing. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's just get started on the video. I'm really excited. First step, we're gonna glue a bunch of popsicle sticks together. I've learned when I hot glue things that since this isn't very long, it, I can't really do it at my kitchen table because it pulls, it's just not long enough. So I'm doing this on the floor and I'm rewatching Stranger Things because I am. And gotta wait for this to heat up. Okay, so like I said, I have these popsicle sticks and I've already done five of these and I'm going to have 10 plume things of feathers. So 10 of these that will go like that, that I will glue the feathers onto. I'm so bad, I'm so terribly bad at explaining things. I couldn't find any longer sticks and I didn't want to use dowels because I didn't know how to attach those together at one thing. First steps first is to glue five more of these and then we'll go from there and glue the 10 popsicle sticks together. The easiest part of the whole process has been complete. I have 10 of these. They're pretty much the same length. I tried to make them as long as possible. And the next part, I think it's gonna be a little harder because obviously it's going to have to be a fan-like thing. I don't like how thick it's gonna be at the base since it's 10 popsicle sticks on top of each other fanned out. So it's gonna be like that like a peacock. And I think I'm just going to glue them down. It's gonna be like two inches thick, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it. So to make things easier, I 
ignore that. I was bored. I made up this little thing so I know where to put each thing that I glue it to. So there will be one going there, one going there, right there, and so on, so that the spacing is even. And that's just because if the spacing isn't even, then it's gonna look patchy. So I want there to be equal space all the way around. So I'll start with them going like that and probably work my way up. Let's just do it. Let's just glue them together at the base. It's gonna be so thick. I'm just, ugh, it's gonna be like two inches thick. Oh well. Okay, let's do it. We have a fan base, it actually looks really good. I think the spacing is spot on. Before I glue feathers, I think I'm going to do like, it's kind of not, you know, I don't know if you can tell, it's like wobbly. I think I'm going to do support structures like maybe right here across the whole thing so that they kind of stay together, kind of like that on all of these hinges where the last popsicle meets. And so then it will kind of look even more like a fan. And that way also if I need to add feathers like to fill this in, I'll have something to glue them to, if that makes sense. But it looks really good. It's pretty wide too, let me see. Cause the feathers, so you can see this and the feathers, I'm going to like glue them, but they'll be extended past this so that they're a bit flowy. You can already see all these sticks behind me and it's even gonna be taller around because of the feathers. So I think it's gonna be the perfect length so that you can see it. So let me go add the support really quick. With the brace I added, it's very, very structured. It's not moving at all. Like, even if I go like this, it's very secure. And let's see, I think it's really good height, I guess. I don't know, it extends past my shoulders. So once you have the extra inches of the feathers, it's gonna be probably right at my waist. And so it will kind of be like that. And I think it will look really good. So now we get to actually do fun things and that's doing the feathers, which I have a method for. So let me show you. As I was saying, I have the three packs and these are natural ostrich feathers. They've been, they've fallen off of birds and been harvested and obviously died. Each one is different, kind of like a snowflake. So some of them are fluffier. Some of them are kind of not as fluffy. They're there's just a lot of discrepancies between them. So what I've gone ahead and done is separate them out between fluffy and non-fluffy. So these ones, I have the 12 longer fluffy ones. And then the 48 smaller ones, I divided between wimpy ones that aren't very full and then the small ones that are a bit fluffier. My reason for doing that is because of this, the feathers are going to be a layer up top and a layer down below. Down below, I'm gonna use the wimpier feathers because they'll be closer together and so you won't tell, you won't be able to tell that they're wimpier. They're, they're just not as fluffy. And then the top up here, I'll use the fluffy ones since there's a lot of space to fill. I'll have extra feathers and I'll go in and patch it up where it's lacking fluff, if that makes sense. Before I do that though, I just realized, I think I'm gonna paint this pink because I don't want it to show through. So we'll mix up some paint really quick and do that and let it dry just so that it blends in better. Okay, this thing is painted. I'm just gonna dive in and go for it. The method here that I think will be the best is to work from upwards, making our way down. So I'm layer by layer by layer downwards because then all of the stems will be covered up. Like I said, I'm gonna be using all of these fluffy long ones for the top since there's more to cover and then the scrappy ones for the bottom. And I am a bit nervous. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna have it kind of out like this and I'm just gonna glue it down with hot glue by the stems. And we're just, we're gonna hope that this turns out good. I'm kind of nervous to glue the first one down. Since I do have extras, I think if I mess it up, that will be okay. I'm still a little worried, but I'm going to glue the first one down. I'm gonna do it right here. That's probably like four inches. The popsicle is right, it ends right here. Can you tell I'm nervous? I do not want to mess up. If I need to, I can go to the craft store and get some. They're just super expensive over there. Okay guys, I'm gonna do the glue. 
measure it out. I'm just gonna... Apparently, my camera decided to stop recording right as I was about to glue down the first feather. So here it is. It looks sparse, but don't freak out. It just needs a lot more layering. There's the first two. There's that side of them. And I'm just gonna keep going around at the top until they're all like that. I'm trying not to freak out because I too am worried about how it looks like right now. Luckily, it did end up looking really good once I started layering all of these feathers. I have to admit I was really worried because the feathers were pretty sparse, but once you layer them over each other a bunch, it really does fill out and it looks pretty good. I finally finished all the pink feathers and it looks far better than I thought it would. The only lame thing is that when you stand in certain lighting like this, you can see the spines of the popsicle sticks, but most of the time I don't think those should show, so I'm not too worried. Okay, you guys, I don't know why I've been so bad at filming this whole video. I keep forgetting to film things. Let me show you where I'm at. I ended up adding the peacock feathers the same way I added the pink ones and it really tied the look together. I did it on both sides. This side, I have some rhinestones. I'm really sorry for not filming, but it was really easy just to glue them down, just like the pink ones on top of the pink ones, so yeah. <laughs> Another thing I did that I totally forgot to film was adding a harness thing so that you can wear it. So let me show you what this is made out of. It's very simple. A while back when I made fairy wings, I had this wire and I bought so much of it. So I decided to use this stuff to make another brace similar to how fairy wings work. I can't remember what gauge of wire this is. It's one of the thicker ones and I actually doubled it so that it would be even thicker because I didn't want it to bend under the weight of this fan. So this is um, a u-shaped thing very actually exactly like fairy wings where this part right here slips into the back of the corset and then I've glued it down on the other side to this fan. So this part is in the corset and you have it hanging onto the fan. It will make more sense when you see it worn. Then of course there's those rhinestones I was telling you guys about. I'm putting like the blue ones where the peacock feathers are and then around here up on the edge I've been putting some pink ones but they don't really show up as much on camera. I've only done one side of it though so to finish it off I need to do this side. It's looking kind of sad right now. Another thing I did is that I painted the stems of these green because I thought it looked kind of funny with it white. It just looked a bit unfinished so I also need to paint these stems green and then this will probably be done. I apologize for not filming this whole thing, but it's pretty straightforward once you get the base and the bones out of the way and complete. So just add the peacock feathers. I did a big dollop of hot glue and then I would do a thin hot glue line down the spine of the pink and then I would just slap it on. Quite easy. I feel like anybody could do it, so I'm sorry for not filming. So I am going to go rhinestone the rest of this. I'll take you guys along and then this will be done and we can put it on and show you how it works. I'm really kicking myself because I just did not film a lot of making this, but it's done. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it on before I do the big reveal. I already filmed this um, footage like a week ago when this video was supposed to come out, but the lighting was super bad because it was cloudy and I just didn't like it. So I didn't post the video and I'm refilming this. I am in my pajamas. Anyway, to wear one of these, all you need is the thing with the harness and a corset. I struggle a lot doing this, so I'm home alone. Hopefully I can do it by myself. <laughs> so I have the harness and I don't know how close I should get. This should be fine. This part goes in the top of the corset and I, I struggle a lot. So bear with me here. Oh, it's going in easy. Okay. So then just like push it down. And then you gotta make sure it's like equal. Let me go look in the mirror really quick. And then you have a nice little peacock thingy on your back. It's very sturdy, you can move around. It doesn't really move around a lot I and mean, I thought it would, which is, so this is a nice surprise. And it's not very noticeable. If I look to the side right here, you can kind of see the wires, but I think once you have the whole ensemble, it's not gonna be noticeable. Kind of proud of it, if I'm being honest. So 
there it is. I haven't tried it on with a ball gown yet, so hopefully it all fits together. I tackled it and I'm very, very proud of how it turned out. And I think it looks really, really good and it's really sturdy. The only hard thing is doorways. I cannot get through doorways. that somebody just saw me in this out front is mortifying but it's okay i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like the finished product stay tuned to see the rest of the ball gown i'm very very proud of how this turned out if you enjoyed watching then don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this bye